Every dog you nurture and share a roof with is expensive. I mean, if you consider the whopping amount dog owners splash on food, toys, vet bills, and so on, you'd agree with me that dogs are expensive. However, the price on the tails of some pups are on another level. From the Tibetan Mastiff puppy, which reportedly sold for $2 million, to the endangered Canadian Eskimos, here are 10 expensive dogs only the rich can afford. Number 10. Pharaoh Hound Sitting on the number 10 spot is the Pharaoh Hound. Don't be deceived by the name. The dog is innocent and has nothing to do with the ancient Egyptian kings. It's not even an Egyptian breed. Same way you're not the richest person in the world even if your family name is Arnaud. The dog earned the name as a result of its striking resemblance with the paintings of dogs found in tombs in ancient Egypt. A striking model of the Pharaoh Hound was found at the entrance of King Tut's tomb. Modern DNA studies have also shown that the breed is not of an ancient origin, but of a modern moderately recent development. The breed is a symbol of class, renowned for its grace, intelligence, and unique appearance. The Pharaoh Hound is an intelligent breed of dog and is considered a Maltese breed. In 1979, the breed was named the National Dog of Malta. It is called Kelb Talfenic, which means rabbit dog in Maltese, all thanks to its expertise in hunting rabbits. They are usually taken out at night to hunt, since there are fewer distractions, and of course that's the best time to hunt prey. One spectacular thing about Pharaoh Hounds is that they are used for hunting in a very unique way. Unlike other dogs, the Malta National Dog is divided into teams to pursue and trap the prey. Once the rabbit is trapped, all other exits are covered with a net, and a ferret is brought out to scare the rabbit. A tiny bell is placed around the ferret's neck, and all other hounds are out of the game, except one. The last pharaoh hound that is still in play will then trace the ferret's movements, using the sounds coming from the bell. When the rabbit finally bolts for freedom, it is finally captured by the hunter's nets. Pharaoh hounds are athletic and weigh around 45 to 55 pounds. The males can be as tall as 25 inches and the female counterpart 24 inches. They are loyal and tend to blush when they get excited, causing their nose and ears to change to a deep rose color. This breathtaking phenomenon is possible because the breed lacks pigment, both on its nose and ears. Some pharaoh hounds smile when their positive emotions are aroused. The downside of their loving nature is that they don't like being alone for too long. They'd make a perfect match for singles. He'll start barking when bored or left alone for too long. As gentle and loving as they may seem, it's dangerous to leave them in an unfenced area without their leash on, because if they spot any small and furry creature, their strong predator drive will take over them. And at this point, the last voice they'll listen to is your voice, regardless of how strictly you train them. If you are buying a pharaoh hound, you should also set around $1,500 aside monthly for the vet, except if you're certain that you won't stress them, because they are extremely sensitive to stress, and when they are stressed, it costs more than $1,500 to treat them. Well, anyone who can afford this hound should be able to maintain one, as they cost around $7,500. Number 9. Dogo Argentino the Dogo Argentino breed is a large dog, dated as far back as the 1920s. Unlike the Pharaoh Hound, which has no connection with its name, the Dogo Argentino is an Argentine breed, bred in central Argentina in the early 20th century. Before you try to mess with this dog, it's best you know that the Dogo Argentino was primarily bred for dog fighting, a type of blood sport where dogs physically fight against each other, even till death. It served as a form of entertainment, and as expected, served the purpose of gambling before it was banned. To declare the winner of the dogfight, one must jump out of the pit as a sign of defeat, or in some cases, die. Dogfighting is still legal in countries like Japan, Russia, and a few others. The ancestral line of the Dogo Argentino could be traced back to the extinct Cordoba fighting dog and the Great Dane. The breed was the handiwork of a student of Cordoba in central Argentina, who wanted a fighting dog with the fighting qualities of the old Cordoba fighting dog, but with greater size and strength. A dog with roots from these two dangerous breeds is expected to be ruthless, and the Dogo Argentino didn't lower the bar. In terms of bite force, Dogo Argentino is more dangerous than the notorious Pitbull. While Pitbulls have a bite force measured at around 235 pounds per square inch, Dogo Argentino has close to two times that. Their bite force is around 500 pounds per square inch. They are considered one of the most dangerous breeds in the world, and are banned in many countries. It is illegal to own this dog breed in the UK, 
Colorado, and even the city that never sleeps, New York. The breed, also called Argentine Mastiff, weighs around 80 to 100 pounds and can be as tall as 26.5 inches. Its muscular stature makes it a great choice for large game hunting. In other words, they can hunt large game, like peccaries, pumas, boars, and even mountain lions. While the hound was primarily bred for dogfighting, it can be a cooperative hunter, meaning it can tolerate other catch dogs when out for a hunt. Similarly, they have been assigned to the working class group designation. That is, they can guard homes, livestock, and serve gallantly as police and military dogs. Although Dogo Argentino can live up to 14 years, they may suffer from pigment-related deafness and hip dysplasia, a genetic disease common in large dogs, leading to vet bills of nothing less than $1,600. Grooming costs around $30 to $80. That being said, Dogo Argentinos require a lot of daily exercise, as a lack of exercise can cause a rise in health risks. They are rare, making them an expensive dog breed. A puppy of one of these goes for as high as $8,000. Number 8. Canadian Eskimo the Canadian Eskimo is one of the five breeds indigenous to Canada. These working dogs were introduced to North America over 1,000 years ago. It is considered one of North America's oldest and rarest remaining purebred indigenous domestic canines, and it's a luxury to own one, as they are very rare to come across. There are just 300 Canadian Eskimo dogs in the world, as of 2008, and are likely to go into extinction soon, if we don't do something about it, making it one of the rarest breeds in the world. A dog this rare will Will only be in the yards of a few, certainly not the yards of those who do regular 9-to-5 jobs. No shade, but I'm certain the few Canadian Eskimo dogs left have seen a lot more condos, mansions, and beach houses than most people. Their declining population is a result of snowmobile transportation and the spread of infectious canine disease. The Royal Canadian Mounted Police Dog Kills, which happened between 1950 to 1970, are also debated to contribute to their numbers. This is when the Canadian cops killed up to 20,000 Canadian Eskimo dogs in an attempt to disrupt the dog's lifestyle. And since then, the breed has never recovered. In case you're wondering why they're expensive, this should help. Back in the day, their frozen urine was used by the Inuit as a medicine, and their fur was more expensive than that of wolves due to its greater resistance to wear. The Canadian Eskimo dog, also referred to as Canadian Inuit, are huge and weigh between 66 to 95 pounds. In May 2000, the Canadian territory of Nunavut adopted the Canadian Inuit dog as the national dog of the territory. Canadian Eskimo dogs are considered one of the most beloved pets. However, they are not advised for families with children, because they are territorial and tend to overreact to small disturbances. Most owners would likely have a professional dog walker, as Canadian Eskimos require exercise more than a regular dog owner can give. They are best kept in a cold climate, and this isn't surprising, they come from a cold region. The downside of this is that they are prone to heat stroke and arthritis, which might cost a fortune to treat. Well, well, it can't be a lot to spend on a dog with less than 300 of its kind alive. Since only a few Canadian Eskimo dogs are left on Earth, it is no surprise that it comes at an expensive price. Besides, owning a dog with less than 300 of its kind left is a flex, especially for rich people. A puppy of a purebred Canadian Eskimo goes for around $8,750. Number 7. Rottweiler Number 7 on our list doesn't need much of an introduction. It is a furry companion we are all familiar with, and you might be wondering, why is a Rottweiler on this list? They are easy to come across. You might even met a couple of them today, or own one. Well, there are a couple of other factors that give them a spot on the list. The first is that they rack up a lot of money in vet bills due to health issues. The more Rottweilers you buy, the happier the vets in your neighborhood. If Rottweilers were to go into extinction, a lot of vets would be out of jobs. Eh, just joking. With $1,000 to $3,000, you'd get a Rottweiler, but it's more of a trap as you'll likely spend more on it. The breed will likely make you a frequent visitor to your vet shop. This is because Rottweilers are susceptible to almost every single disease and cancer dogs experience. The average cost claimed per year for Rottweilers is $1,186. This explains why pet insurance claims for the breed are higher than any other breed. Rottweiler owners pay more than $300 annually on their dog insurance. They even spend more on a claim. Of course, Rottweiler celebrity owners 
like Will Smith, Bruno Mars, Sylvester Stallone, and Leonardo DiCaprio, and a host of others, would pay more without blinking to take care of their furry companions. And they are always eager to share pictures of their Rottweilers on Instagram. Rottweilers are naturally friendly and obedient, with a deep loyalty to family. This explains why it's the most popular pet among common people and celebrities. Sylvester Stallone, for example, named his new Rottweiler puppy after his character Dwight in his crime drama series Tulsa King. The Rottweiler is considered one of the oldest surviving breeds of dogs, like the Canadian Eskimo, and its origin can be traced back to Roman times. They were originally drovers, meaning their primary purpose is to protect cattle and livestock. They're named after Rottweil, a place in Germany after they were abandoned by Roman legions in the vicinity. They weigh up to 60 pounds, while their heights fall between 24 to 27 inches. They are also prone to obesity and being overweight. When someone visits the doctor more than often, sometimes it's a sign that their days are likely numbered. It works the same way for dogs. Sadly, Rottweilers have a shorter lifespan compared to other dogs at only 9 to 10 years. Another factor that makes Rottweilers an expensive breed, other than their frequent vet visits, is their pedigree. Rottweilers have been crossed with different breeds, and we seem to have forgotten the original breed. Most Rottweilers you see around are mutts. A purebred Rottweiler from an authentic German breeder can cost up to $9,000. Number 6. As a walk. The next dog on our list is a bit similar to Canadian Eskimos, and before you start guessing what the similarity is about, it is not found in Canada, and its frozen urine isn't used as a medicine. The Azawak is rare, especially in the United States, where there are a small handful of breeders, and if you think you'd come across one in a rescue, your chances are very low. It is almost impossible. The good news is that unlike Canadian Eskimo dogs with less than 300 of its kind, it is estimated that there are 1,000 Azawak in the world. That's still something. However, the breed is predicted to face extinction in years to come. Azawak are rare to find in the United States, as some African laws prohibited the exportation of the breed outside the continent until the 1980s. Even today, the breed is somehow confined to its roots. However, it's been gaining popularity since the American Kennel Club recognized it in 2019. The breed has a parent club known in the U.S. as the American Azawak Association, which boasts approximately 1,000 members, and according to estimates, Tennessee and the Southeast have the highest numbers of Azawaks, and that's approximately 30. That should tell you how hard it is to find them in the U.S. What are Azawak dogs? Azawak dogs hail from western parts of Africa and are named after the Azawak Valley in the largest hot desert in the world, the Sahara. They are sighthounds, meaning they use their sight instead of scent to hunt. This dog is tremendously fast. Not as fast as a cheetah, though, but can run up to 65 kilometers per hour. That's no small feat. In terms of their temperament, the Azawak Valley dogs share a similar feature with cats. They are usually shy around strangers. An ironic feature about them is that they are slim, and their bone structure and muscle can be seen through their skin. This does not indicate that they are unhealthy. The breed is naturally skinny. You can literally be looking at one of the most expensive dogs in the world and walk up to the owner to inform them that their dog looks sick and needs to visit the vet. The few owners of this breed have reported having such experiences at the park, or when they take the dog for a walk. So the next time you see a skinny dog, a billionaire or millionaire could be standing right beside you. As a result of its extreme rarity, the breed denotes class, and it is a very expensive breed. If you take your Azawak to a dog show, a lot of people would likely be interested in the rare breed and strike up conversations. Even though they are a new breed, they can cost up to $9,500. Number 5. Chow Chow the fifth most expensive dog on the list is the Chow Chow, and like the title of this video, only the rich can afford the Chow Chow. The name alone has given away its origin. It sounds Chinese, right? Well, the Chow Chow is native to northern China and is one of the oldest dogs in the world. Genetic testing has confirmed that to be true. The exact time at which the breed originated is unknown. However, one writer proposed that the Chow Chow originated in China 2,000 years ago, or possibly originated in Arctic Asia 3,000 years ago, which migrated to Mongolia, then to China. Chow Chows are one of the rarest breeds in the world, especially in the West. Although they are less popular today, Chow Chow used used to be a prevalent part of pop culture. The ancient breed used to be one of the most popular breeds in America in the 80s. You can't mistake a Chow Chow for another breed, as they have unusual characteristics and distinct temperaments. They come in a variety of colors, and weigh between 29 to 90 pounds. The dog itself costs a lot, but it doesn't end there. It's rather the beginning of heavy spending. The cost of owning a Chow Chow is not for the weak. They come with a lot of bills, including food, rooming, vet bills, treats, toys, and health issues. These 
these bills can cost up to $11,000 for their life. If there's one dog that's expensive to maintain, it's the Chow Chow. Some companies consider them high-risk dogs because they can raise the cost of homeowners insurance. Y you know what it means when insurance companies chicken out because of your dog. No wonder you can only find Chow Chow in the yards of celebrities like the late Walt Disney, Martha Stewart, who owns more than one and are frequently seen on her shows, Janet Jackson, and a host of others. To own a Chow Chow, you need to have a certain number of zeros in your bank account and would need to settle your dog walker monthly, except if you have the time to take them out for walks, as they require up to four or more walks in a day. I am not Martha Stewart's PA, but I'm not sure she has the time to walk her dogs at least four times daily, especially with her net worth of $400 million and tons of business people to attend to. Chow Chows are naturally stubborn and susceptible to a lot of health issues. On the other hand, they make excellent pets and guard dogs, if handled by someone who knows his onions. A Chow Chow pup costs around $11,000. One Chinese ruler was said to own 5,000 Chow Chow dogs. Imagine owning 5,000 Chow Chow in 2023. Number 4. Lu Shen. Next up is Lu Shen, which originated in France. It is also referred to as Little Lion Dog, which is likely a German translation of its unique name. The dog is still seen in many art pieces, featuring dogs as far back as the 16th century. However, the history of the Lu Shen remains unclear. But one thing is clear. Unlike the Azawak dogs, Lu Shens are popular in Europe and have been in the region for over 500 years. In 1973, Lu Shen was the rarest dog breed in the world, as there were just 65 left. However, the digits have changed now, although it's not too impressive. There are 300 remaining Lu Shen dogs registered each year. If things should continue this way, it's only a matter of time before the little lion dog goes into extinction. Like the theory of demand and supply, the rarer the dog, the more expensive the price. The dog is expensive, but at the same time it can be a good investment. Unlike Rottweilers, which are prone to almost every single disease and cancer the dogs experience, or the Chow Chow that'll keep you refreshed with bills, Lu Shens rarely get sick and can live up to 15 years, meaning that you dash your vet a sack letter the moment you purchase a Lushan. Anyone who can afford a Lushan would care less about paying vet bills, as they cost up to $12,000. The breed can be said to represent class, as they are known to be companion dogs to the rich and elite. According to history, they were fashionable companion dogs to the wealthy and elite ladies of the court, and often served as foot warmers and comforters. Traditionally, Lushans are presented in a lion cut meaning almost all parts of the dog are shaved while the rest are left to grow naturally to give the appearance of a lion. Although it's still unclear whether it's the Lucian, a little dog with the same lion haircut has been featured in iconic medieval times paintings. Some historical paintings, like Portrait of Agnes Sorel, 1422 to 1450, with a little dog, Wedding Portrait of Magnus Gabriel de la Gardi and Maria Euphrosine, 1653, Portrait of Princess Marie Zephyrine of France, 1750 to 1755, and a host of others. Owning a dog with such history, coupled with its rarity, is a big flex. Lucians weigh around 10 to 18 pounds and can be as tall as 14 inches. Lucians are hypoallergenic, meaning they are less likely to cause allergies. They are one of the most extroverted dogs in the world, very active and playful. If you have kids around you, Lucians are a perfect fit, although I don't think owners of the few left would want to pass on it for any reason. The downside of their outgoing nature is that they get unhappy when left alone for a long time. That shouldn't come as a surprise. Pharaoh hounds do the same. With a token of $12,000, you get an extroverted, hypoallergenic, and healthy dog. Number 3. Samoyed the next dog on our list is the Samoyed, a beautiful ancient breed from Siberia. The double-coated furry companion earned its name from the Samoyedic people of Siberia, who bred it to assist them in pulling sleds and guarding reindeer. The unique species is friendly, affectionate, and maintains a smiling countenance, which earned it the name Smiling Sammy. Its tail and magnificent double coat of white are some of its distinguishing features. A Samoyed is the last dog you'd want to use as a guard dog. Instead of guarding, don't be surprised when you see that them usher a stranger into your house. They are very attention-seeking and may begin to dig or become destructive when lonely. And it's best to keep them on a leash because they have a strong instinct to run away or wander for kilometers. They weigh around 45 to 65 pounds and can be as tall as 23 inches. This fluffy white dog is expensive to acquire and may be more expensive to maintain. They rack up a long list of vet bills when compared to other dogs. Samoyeds will make you visit your vet more often as they are prone 
prone to certain health issues. And since they are costly, their health issues come with a lot of zeros. Expensive health issues like autoimmune conditions and cardiac disorders can cost up to $5,000. Let's dive into history a bit to find out why Samoyeds are very expensive, aside from being rare. In the late 18th century, Queen Alexandra fell in love with the breed after she was gifted one and didn't hesitate to show them off for the world to see. The fox-like canines made their way over to America, and the American Kennel Club, or AKC for short, registered the first Sammy in 1906. Some reports also claim that most of the Samoyeds in England and America can have their ancestry traced to Queen Alexandra's dogs. In 1911, the famous Norwegian explorer Roald Amundsen chose several Samoyeds to join him on the first ever successful expedition to the South Pole. A more recently famous Samoyed that you might have come across on social media is Maya the Sammy. With almost 2 million followers, she is currently one of the most famous dogs in the world. The dog, which was born in 2016, is now worth $10 million after it became an internet sensation. Maya is owned by Ling Lee Karen Ye, a Vietnamese-German YouTuber who came into the limelight due to her dog Maya. The dog is reported to make around $6,371 per post on Instagram. There's a long list of celebrities who own a Samoyed. Some popular names on the list include Bradley Cooper, Katya Gleason, Ariel Winter, and Rufa May Quinto. A purebred Samoyed puts costs around $14,000. Number 2. Czechoslovakian Wolf Dog the second most expensive dog only the rich people can afford is the Czechoslovakian wolf dog. The irony is that you can be a billionaire pet lover like Mark Zuckerberg, who owns a Hungarian sheep, or Elon Musk, and still not be able to buy a Czechoslovakian wolf dog. Laws concerning wolf breeds differ from place to place, and about 40 states in the U.S. ban the breeding and owning of hybrid wolves. The wolf dog is Czechoslovakia's national dog, also known as the Czechoslovakian vlak. They weigh at least 54 Four pounds, with a height of around 26 inches. The breed is relatively new and was designed by the Czech military in the 1950s. The goal was to create a unique breed with the intelligence of the German Shepherd and the pack mentality and stamina of wolves. To achieve this, German Shepherds were crossed with Carpathian Wolves. The dog was meant to be a bloodthirsty and vicious patrol dog, but the outcome was a bit different from what they expected. While Czech wolf dogs are alert and suspicious of strangers, they are cuddly and loving like German Shepherds. And this is quite understandable. The Czechoslovakian flock is about 6% wolf and 94% German Shepherd. Speaking of German Shepherds, the richest dog in the world is a German Shepherd with a net worth of over $400 million. That is almost as much as popular footballer Cristiano Ronaldo's wealth. $500 million. The dog, Gunter III, was willed $80 million after its owner, Carlotta Liebenstein, died in 1992 and didn't have children or close relatives to inherit her fortune. The dog has a group of human trustees tasked with investing the money. This was how the money had increased to what it is today. Gunter's money was invested in a lot of properties around the globe. Maradona even sold his mansion, worth $29 million, to Gunter Corporations. When Gunter III passed away, the money was willed to his descendant, Gunter IV, who is now the richest pet in the world. The German Shepherd lives a luxurious life in Germany, with properties like private yachts around the globe, and since then the dog has never ceased to make headlines. Netflix in February 2023 made a documentary about Gunter and his life, titled Gunter's Millions. Although Czechoslovakian wolf dogs don't wake up in yachts or tour the globe like Gunter IV, they come at a very expensive price. The dog is one of the closest you can get to a pet wolf. The national dog of the Czech Republic goes for around $50,000, and this does not include your flight fees to the Czech Republic because they are are hard to find elsewhere, aside from their place of origin. Number 1. Tibetan Mastiff and here it is, guys. What you've been waiting for? The most expensive dog in the world is none other than the fluffiest giant dog breed, the Tibetan Mastiff. The massive dog is native to China and Nepal. The breed is not only ancient, but among one of the largest dog breeds in the world. If Tibetan Mastiffs have something spectacular, it's their robust nature and the fur around their necks, which gives the impression of a mane. Grown males weigh up to 150 pounds and can repel some of the fiercest animals. They made their way to 
America from Tibet, where they served as guard dogs, protecting sheep from predators like bears, wolves, and leopards. While they were being used as protectors, the owners couldn't bear their cost, as they became more expensive to maintain over time, and slowly they began to vanish. Since they were originally flock guarding dogs, Tibetan Mastiffs are always vigilant and ready to protect your family. In the early 20th century, Prince George of Wales introduced a pair of Tibetan Mastiffs to the UK, where it later became more prevalent in England to be shown at the Crystal Palace show in 1906. Here's the million dollar question. Why is the Tibetan Mastiff expensive, and why is it at the top of this list? We'll get to that in a bit. If you haven't seen a Tibetan Mastiff, they are enormous, have a lot of hair, and are not regular dogs you can easily come across like German Shepherds. Due to the Tibetan Mastiff's regal look and intimidating reputation, it is considered a status symbol in China. In other words, Chinese millionaires adopted a new status symbol, and it was neither the latest car nor jewelry. No, this time dogs emerged as a yardstick to telegraph someone's properties. Pet fairs were dedicated to the Tibetan Mastiffs and took place several days a week. Some couples even took the trend to another level. In 2009, a couple from Xi'an spent over $600,000 for a purebred called Yangtze River and gave it a grand entrance to their home. They arranged a fleet of Rolls Royces to bring the pup home. The Tibetan Mastiff is also considered a symbol of luck for the Chinese, which is why the upper class there are willing to pay exorbitant sums for it. Owning a dog like this represents a powerful status symbol for the extremely wealthy. This is why people like to say that the things a wealthy man in China must absolutely have are a luxury Lamborghini, a beautiful wife, and a Tibetan Mastiff. No wonder Alibaba founder and the once richest man in China, Jack Ma, has more than one Tibetan Mastiff. The Chinese billionaire, worth nearly $24 billion, probably wanted to join the trend as well. He has a wife and more than one Tibetan Mastiff. His next car collection would be a Lamborghini. Hollywood big names like Vin Diesel, Dwayne Johnson, and a host of other celebrities like Bob Dylan, Gail King, and so on, are proud owners of Tibetan Mastiffs. As a result of this hype and luxury they command, a purebred Tibetan pup ranges from $2,000 to millions. Yes, millions. You might be wondering whether we're pricing a beach house or a condo in California. We're not. Tibetan Mastiffs can cost up to a million dollars or more. Back in 2014, a Chinese businessman reportedly sold his rare red Tibetan Mastiff puppy for $1.95 million, making the breed the most expensive dog in the world. Here's one last thing you should know as we round off the list. In addition to their hefty prices, owning these rare species comes with luxurious lifestyles and special needs, especially the endangered ones. Do you still think your dog is expensive? And which dog caught your eye the most? Please do well to share in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video, hit the subscribe button, because not even the million dollar Tibetan Mastiff can do that for you.